High five. High five. High five. Woo! <laughs>《How's it going, YouTube? Welcome to another new episode of First Timers of Baby Edition. Little guy, high five, high five, high five. Woo! <laughs> yeah, so we have a lot of fun. And today you have your big hosts, Alvin, little host, little Alvin. And uh, we're here to talk about actually a couple things here. Um, first, obviously, the title of the video. Uh, magnetic cabinet locks. We're gonna be um, setting up uh, this guy on a you know, on one of the uh, cabinets, you know, so you guys can kind of see how that's set up. Yeah, so you can't get into them anymore. Obviously, the main reason that we're doing that is, as you guys can see in the video that I'm gonna post here, or right up here, um, is that he is actually starting to waddle and walk and all that good stuff. Um, you know, he's been up to about uh, twenty some odd steps now, so he is getting um, he is getting pretty. Uh, pretty good at kind of walking. I know on the video that you just saw, he was kind of, you know, he's just like doing short stuff. But um, yeah, when he's on a roll, he's just like, you know, he gets all excited trying to walk around and yeah, really cute. And the hard part is as he's getting bigger, faster, um, you know, when we're in the kitchen, we just don't want him to pull a drawer open because we'll have him come in there with us. And you know, as I'm washing dishes, I can kind of keep an eye on him as he's kind of just trying to waddle around and hold onto things. Um, but overall, we're pretty safe about everything that's in there. But just in case something happens, um, we usually have a little baby gate that goes across the, the door so we can keep them from going in there when, you know, no one's in there. Um, so the idea is just, you know, give us a heads up just in case for whatever reason something happens, we get sidetracked, anything like that. Um, you know, things happen very quickly, very fast. And so I just want to make sure that, you know, nothing, nothing can happen to them if, uh, you know, if something does happen, you know, so that, that's kind of the goal. But obviously, again, trying to give him 100% attention just to make sure he's doing everything that he can be doing. Um, with that being said, though, I did have a little bit of a scare, freaked me out. So kind of see these keys here. Now, keep in mind, it's not this company that's on that are on locks, but I have a key that's very similar to the size that I actually have two of them. Um, one's on each set of keys, but for my car, I use these style locks that actually lock my um, that lock my uh, hood down. So I have uh, little hood pins. Instead of me using hood pins, I use these locks because you know people here in California will go and you know unlock your hood to take a look and see what's going on under your hood of your car. So the idea is you know to lock them lock them out so they just don't uh, try to get in there. Um, but yeah, so. I had a little bit of a scare. So I had a cheaper ring. You kind of see this ring here and you can kind of see that, um, you know, it's pretty weak. Um, so I had a few masks in my pocket. Um, you know, obviously coronavirus time, have to wear a mask everywhere you go in uh, California right now. And um, it was just one of those things that I was kind of like, hmm, okay, so uh, I got to cut my keys, sitting there, all that good stuff take it out, you know, cause I put, I put three masks in my pocket just in case when I'm going out somewhere. Um, but it got caught, pulled it out. Didn't realize the little tiny key, this little key, not this company, but this little key um, fell on the ground. Not paying attention, not even realizing it. And of course, you know who here is all quick about finding keys. And so first thing I saw is he's just like, I was like, wait, what does he have in his hand? And you know, next thing I know, he's just like, oh, and you know, trying to get it into his mouth. I was like, what? And so I have to run over, grab, pull the key away from him. I was like, holy crap, how'd you even get off my key ring? You know, and I'm freaking out. And you know, and I go and I kind of look at this key ring and I was just like, wow, that was kind of, um, I was kind of messed up. So I did uh, change out all my key rings to really strong key rings, just so, this guy doesn't get uh, any ideas and or you know somehow key falls off again um you know, obviously right normal size house keys probably wouldn't be an issue but keys about this size for him obviously can be a big issue so i was a little um i said i was a little worried i thought i'd tell you guys that about uh, before you have um you know any little issues you know buy some crazy uh crazy uh key rings here so you don't have any issues um, this, like I said, this one here is very weak. 
he was able to slide right off. Um, so just buy some really nice key rings so you don't have to worry about any of your smaller keys if you have some. You know, you can have some for, you know, this is for the luggage. Um, but, you know, these are small keys. These can really, you know, be a little bit of a pain for a baby. And, you know, like I said, I was like priding myself on cleaning up and all that good stuff. And all it took was one little key to like scare me half to death. Um, so this guy, you know, of course, uh, being the way he was, I was just like, oh, I know he freaked out because I was like, you know, I was trying to tell him, don't go get it, you know, don't put it in your mouth. And, you know, and of course he's like freaking out and he starts to, he starts to cry. And I was just like, I'm not mad at you. I just don't want it in your mouth. So we had an interesting thing. Oh, that's where all your Cheerios went. You had them all on your seat this whole time. Is that what was going on? So anyway, thought I would tell you guys just, uh, yeah, having a newborn or anything like that. As they get older, obviously they're moving around more, but, um, you know, one thing I would have never thought about, but it is something that I probably handle the most pulling in and out of my pocket daily. So if your keys are coming off or if you had your keys come off before, think about just getting a new solid, you know, like a really nice key ring. You know, even if it breaks your nails or anything like that, you know, just have something that it makes it really tough for the keys to come off. Um, can't stress that enough. But anyway, guys, let's jump into doing a quick unboxing of this guy here so you guys can kind of actually see what they look like and maybe we can kind of see the instructions because I'm kind of excited to actually um, see that here and kind of see how big things are and all that good stuff. Anyway, let's jump into it. Woo! All right, so as you notice here is our obviously magnetic cabinet locks. They come in a nice blister pack. Um, it lays out everything very nicely. You can start off with the actual magnets that are up at the top then you have the actual holders and then the cabinet uh, locks themselves so this is actually a very nice setup um, again I'm gonna use the scissors to cut all the way around it I did a quick time last for you guys just because I just didn't want you guys to be like watching me just do a quick cut and like what is going on but um, overall um, you can kind of see here the instructions are very easy to follow um, they do have a recommendation to leave about an eighth to a quarter inch uh, so you can actually open and close the, the actual door um, so you're going to notice that there's that little uh, little uh, drop down lock there so that kind of goes in and out so now if it's right on the thing it's not going to lock and hold itself in so you do have to add a little gap just to make sure that the cabinet will actually hold and lock there and as you can see it's very easy uh, the parts are very uh, nice and lightweight alright guys so as we get started um, again I'm going to be using the double sided tape um, it looks like there's actually little screw mounts as well so if you actually want to screw them on but Again, for what for what I'm trying to do, I just want to be able to actually double sided tape them on and see how they work. So I'm very excited. Um, you can kind of see how everything is supposed to look. This is supposed to go towards the door. This is supposed to mount on on the physical door. So it looks like it'll probably be something like this. And as it comes by, it'll go in and lock onto it. So you should be amazing there now you have this holder um, that's supposed to work here so with this holder we'll have to figure it out now they say you can go watch a video but again we're first timers here so we want to see if we can do it with uh, the instructions that they provide and how easy it is so I'm very excited to try it out and see how it works anyway let's give it a second guys and let's let's try to do it Okay, so I'm getting this close again. This is all done by eyeball. If you, for whatever reason, wanted to keep them unlocked, you can actually just do the unlock button and no one can get into it. So that's actually pretty cool. I just noticed that right now. That's actually very cool. Again, my doors aren't, my hinges aren't perfect. Do 
doing this all on old kitchen cabinets. It's also work, but like I said, you got to make sure that your cabinets have a good a good edge to work with. Um, so I, I just barely lucky that that will actually do what it needs to do. So look at that. You can kind of see this guy here. Just look at that, boom, locks. Um, this is double side tape, so if, say you have a stainless steel fridge that you can't really put magnets on, this will actually allow you to tape this pretty much anywhere and magnetic to it. So that is actually very cool, but since I have um, one magnetic uh, knife rack, I can actually probably stick this onto, I have another one to, that holds keys. So I'll be able to put this right on that one with that holds keys and I think that will hold. And again, you get two of these magnets and yeah. So like I said, let me go and finish up all the lower doors here and then yeah, I'm pretty excited. All right guys, so after getting all of that set up, you know, it wasn't too bad. Um, I know I only showed you one cabinet, but I figured it was a lot easier than, um, than going through all of them for you guys. Um, but I did get faster at setting these up on each cabinet door. So the first one was kind of the practice one. So um, if you are probably going to do a setup on one of these guys, uh, make sure to, um, how can I say this? Make sure to start on maybe one that's high, just so, just in case you don't have any more 3M tape or anything like that. Um, you can definitely, uh, you can definitely set them, you know, set them up a little differently here. Yeah, I know. Getting too big for this shirt. So um, yeah, so like I said, once you kind of play with it, get it lined up, um, a lot of these are very easy to set up. So I'd say start on a high one before you jump into a low one. My mistake is that of course I started on the lower one first. Um, like I said, I got it pretty pretty good there, so I, that wasn't an issue. Um, my cabinets are older, you know, so they're not you know those nice new slow shedding cabinets. Maybe I can get some in the future, but right now the cabinets that we have are working just fine. But again, at some point, hopefully we can do a a small kitchen remodel, do some tile flooring or something like that. I don't know. Like I said, we're we're getting there. We're trying to figure that stuff out. But um, anyway, like I said, hopefully you guys like this video. It is a quick video. I know it's short, but um, something that can help protect your child. Um, you know, and give them give yourself peace of mind and stuff like that. Um, if you're like me, letting them try to wander around, touch things, um, just keep you know small things out of the reach of the little guys. Uh, like I said, that key thing that I said earlier is super important. So definitely, definitely, definitely um, go and take a look at you know you know look at like those key rings or just take re re, re look at the things that you might touch daily and not even realize that there might be a little bit of a an issue. So like I said, obviously I'm not worried about my wallet, but my keys that's something I have with me all the time. You know, and I didn't hear the small key fall. You know, definitely take a look. Uh, but other than that, like I said, it was um, it's been pretty good. Um, we've had you know he's been doing really good. He's coming up to his ten months soon. Um, he's getting pretty tall. He's lengthy, it's, you know. So he's he's been moving. He's been super excited. Isn't that right? You've been a little good guy. I know. Yeah. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Um, feel free to check out our channel. We do have a lot of different things going on. If you guys want to uh, look at the vehicle uh, series of our channel, gaming series, tech series, random unboxings, all that good stuff, we have it on the channel. Um, we have it laid out very nicely for you guys to go and take a look at as well. Um, if you guys do have any other questions, um, feel free to throw them in the comments or maybe even other tips that you might go, hey, small things like this might also be a thing, throw them in the comments. Um, I'd love to. You know, hear suggestions from you know parents and stuff like that in the comments. I think that's always cool. Um, it also might help out other uh, new parents as well. Um, you know, something you know, like I said, things that I would have just never thought. You know, are things that you know kind of come to me as I'm being a parent, and I you know I know for most parents that's what that's kind of what happens. But um, yeah, anyway, guys, all of our baby editions launch on Wednesdays, so feel free to come back, check back with us every Wednesday. Feel free to subscribe. 
like I said, we do do a lot of different things for the first time. We are the first timers channel. Um, so yeah, anyway guys, thanks for watching. And don't forget, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. It's in the description below. Anyway, peace. See you later. Say bye-bye. Bye. What are you doing? Bye. Bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>